Hey guys, it's Melanie, your wine girl. So, as you can see, I am decked out for St. Patrick's Day. Yes, all of my green. Cute little hat, right? Okay, so a lot of people want green beer for St. Patrick's Day, obviously, right? Nice and Irish. Well, we are going to experiment by making green wine instead. So, what we've got is our green food coloring here. Just your simple, easy egg dye. And we've got a bottle of Pinot Grigio. Now I'm gonna go with Pinot Grigio because when a lot of people think Pinot Grigio already comes kind of in a green bottle or it looks kind of greenish, you know, just the way it is. You can go with anything that you want to. This um, actually was only, only $5.99 at Kirkland or the Kirkland brand, so Costco. So we're gonna try this one way first. We're gonna pour a couple drops. And this one, we're gonna see what it looks like. Now this is non-toxic, so it shouldn't hurt you at all. Oh, look at that color. That is amazing. So we've got that green right there. I'm gonna swirl it just a little bit. See how it goes. It's almost like an Easter egg in a glass. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and try this real quick and see how it tastes. just like a Pinot Grigio. Very, very nice and light, refreshing. It's a little weird to look at, I will, I will admit. So our other experiment that we're gonna do. Okay, so I put a couple drops in here, guys. Just put a couple to see how it's going. And we're just gonna kinda twirl this like this. Let's do a couple twist. And look at all that. That is just from two drops. So we're going to pour this out. And a little bit lighter. A little bit lighter as you can see than the one that we started off with. This is just two drops per glass. This is two drops for the entire bottle. Let's just taste it again. Ah, oh, it just smells so nice. very refreshing so have a happy st patrick's day guys and cheers